pendulum is an instrument. It's a sensing instrument. Mm -hmm. It's always been historically like a divination you know, tool. Yeah, but like it's not actually a divination tool. I'm the diviner. It's a way to visualize my divinatory, intuitive understanding. And that's the way the pendulum has always been used historically. So the pendulum doesn't do anything by itself. It's right. like it needs the person. That's something I didn't really understand initially at all. It wasn't until I started looking at people who were using a pendulum at like dowsers mm -hmm. or things like that, that I was like, oh, like now I understand what's going on. The idea, there's this criticism you'll hear often. People will say like, oh, you're moving the pendulum. Like when someone has the pendulum and they start making it swing. And then it's like, oh, it's unconscious motor function. And I'm like, yeah, that's the whole point. That's literally what it's supposed to be doing. Right. It, like, it's, it's your, like the pendulum doesn't move. This is like, why we do this. <laughs> this is why we do this, right? It's because it, it becomes an amplifier of, of those subtle signals. Then I can use a, a chart or I can use other objects or whatever it is that I want to then amplify my intuitive understanding. And the pendulum becomes a way of doing that. Yeah. And that's super interesting because that's exactly how the pendulum then gets used in materialist science as well. It becomes a way of, of visualizing time. Mm -hmm. It becomes a way of, of visualizing something that's invisible. When you start to dig into what's going on there, it expands into a much more um, complicated conversation than you might imagine. I always appreciated working with the force of gravity because it's a ubiquitous force. As right. far as we know, it exists in the same way throughout the expanding universe. It affects everybody. We all have both macro scale experience with gravity. Like the reason that the earth has a shape like a rough sphere is because of gravity. The reason that the planets all circulate around the sun is because of gravity. The reason that the sun moves through space all these things are gravity. It's the same thing that's also making our skin stretch as we age. It's the reason that we're sitting in a chair and we can sit. Our feet are on the ground is also because of that force. So we have both an abstract, suprapersonal relationship and like an intimate, individual, personal relationship with gravity. That alone is such an amazing metaphor for the kinds of things that are interesting to me in terms of the content of my work. But the other interesting thing about gravity is the motor of gravity, the, what really gravity is, is still kind of this weird question. There's this thing that's affecting all of us that we're all totally sure exists and is the way it is, but we can't point to it in a laboratory environment and say, oh, that's it, right? That's the thing that's causing this to happen. Yeah. So it's this weird like thing that we've assumed, but we haven't quite fully interrogated the reality of it, or it's right. eluding our ability to fully interrogate the reality. Mm -hmm. 